It's me, Squeaky the Squirrel. I'm a red squirrel. I love being a squirrel. It's wicked cool. Today's show is our biggest and most exciting adventure yet. I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. It's an expedition out exploring way out in the forest at Camp Uda Uda. Let's get right to it. Hi, it's me, Ken, and Camp Oot Oot, way up in northern Maine. We're way out in the woods here in the wilderness, and we're at the river. Well, it's not really a river, it's a stream. But it's pretty cool, and Helga likes it. You hear him? There's Squeaky. That's who we're looking for. I thought the wolves got him. All right, we'll check back with you later. We gotta go see Squeaky. That wasn't me. That was one of our cousins from Boston. I think the river, um, I mean the creek, is pretty cool. I wonder if Helga ever jumps in when it's hot outside? Well, we didn't find Squeaky, and Helga's running around looking too. But we're in a part of the forest now that's really kind of dark. But we're not scared, because it's pretty cool. So we're gonna head over here where it looks like it opens up and we might be able to see pretty far. Looks pretty cool. That's where Helga wants to go. All right, we'll check in later. Well, we're in a part of the forest now where there's hundreds and hundreds of baby fir trees. These are balsam fir. Balsam fir smell really good. People like to use them for Christmas trees, but when they grow really close to each other like they are here, they don't grow into really good Christmas trees. But you can tell that they're a balsam fir because the needles are soft. They're soft like fir. And the spruce and stuff, they'll be more prickly. So. That's a balsam fir. Another thing that's cool about the balsam fir, let me show you over here. Here's a big one. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> I said I'd find one, but I did. Here's a big one here. Um, balsam fir have little things on them, like blisters. And if you poke it, oh, stuff comes out, sap. And it's super sticky and the Indians used to use it to patch their canoes, and mm, it smells really good. It smells like pine trees. So that's another cool thing about balsam fir. All right, we'll check in later. Goodbye. Balsam fir is an awesome tree. I never knew that their needles were softer than spruce and stuff. What kind of Christmas tree do you think you'll have this year? Hey, it's me again. Well, we're still walking around in the woods, but we found something. Want to see something cool? Check it out. See that spot in the dirt? Where Helga's standing? That's an ant colony under there. Watch this. Can you see them all? There's birds that come down. There's a woodpecker. It's called the Northern Flicker, and they're really pretty. I'll show you a video of one. And um, they come down, and they land on those little stumps, and they'll watch. And whenever the ants come out, that's their favorite food is ants. Want to see something else cool? Check this out. The leaves are turning color. That means it's going to be fall pretty soon. Awesome. And then it's going to snow. Ah! All right. We're going to go explore some more. We'll check back with you later. Whoa, that's a lot of ants. I wonder what they do when it rains. Maybe the water drains off since the ants made a hill and they don't get all wet. Okay, 
Let's go out exploring some more. Okay, we're out in the middle of the woods here and I found one of my cameras and I'll show you how I check it. See this stick here? I put stuff that smells like a deer on it and that should make deer and bear and all sorts of stuff come. Here's the camera. And it turns on all by itself and takes pictures. And I open it up and push that button and it'll tell me how many pictures it took. It only took two, and it's probably us. Oh well, we'll check it anyways. Check in with you later. Guess what? One of the two videos that were on the camera had two bears on it. There's a baby bear that's called a cub smelling the tree that the camera is on, and the mama bear is smelling the stick with the deer smelly stuff on it. Do you want to see the video? Hey, look, it's another anthill. They like to be under these spruce trees. Let's check it out. Ow, ow, <laughs> one bit me on the hand. All right. We're going to go explore some more. We'll check in again later. Yikes. That's a lot of ants. There sure are a lot of ants in the woods here. They eat dead stuff and help keep the forest clean. They're actually pretty amazing insects. Lots of crows around. They've been following us for a long time. It's kind of neat. I don't know why they follow us like that, but they sure do. Okay, we'll talk to you later. I wonder how many crows there were. It sounded like a bunch of them. Why do you think they follow people around like that sometimes? Here's a place you might think is pretty cool. There's a big rock here off of one of the trails way back in the woods where we're at. And then there's a tree and on that tree, we put a sign. You know what that says? Critter Rock. Woohoo! All right, we'll check in later. Bye. Critter Rock is neat. I've been there. It's not too far from the cabin, really. We can run there in around 10 minutes or so. We see lots of other animals there. I bet that's why it's called Critter Rock.
I just saw the craziest thing and I hope you can see it. Look at that worm. It doesn't even look like a worm. It's like a piece of grass, but it's not, it's a worm. That's a crazy looking worm. I've never seen anything like it, have you? Well, I was so excited about that worm, I set my hat down and now I can't find it. I've been looking all over for it. I know I set it down somewhere. It's on your head. Your hat is on your head. Helga, help me find my hat. Dumb me. <laughs> I found it. Coming up on another cool spot here. Can you tell me what it's called? The Indian Mounds Path. It's kind of overgrown a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see on that rock? The rock's been carved into. And if we come down this Indian path, let's see what we got. Well, Helga's checking it out. There's where the teepee goes. There's a campsite for a fire and a place to sit. And then up there along that mound. And then there's a path that goes through there. We'll explore that sometime. Pretty neat, huh? Hey, these rocks have stuff on them too. Pretty neat. We'll check in later. The Indian mounds are cool. I wonder if anyone will ever put sides on the teepee. That would be a fun place to have a fire and make s'mores. Well, that's the end of this expedition. I hope you had fun. Have a fun day and we will talk to you later. Bye.